this video, I'm going to solve practice problems on the boiling point increase and the freezing point decrease. So, as you may recall from the previous video, the boiling point increase and the freezing point decrease are two of the four collative properties, and they had similar formulas. For the boiling point increase, the formula was delta Tb is equal to positive I times Kb times M, in which I is the Van Hoff factor, Kb is a constant, and M is the molality. And for the freezing point decrease, it was delta Tf is equal to negative I times Kf times M, and they represent pretty much the same. So now let's go to our problem. Okay, the problem states that we have 500 grams of a solute that is molecular, C6H12O6, and we put it in our solvent, in which this case is water, and we have two kilograms of, of water. And the question is, what is going to be the new boiling point, so the boiling point increase, and the new freezing point, meaning the freezing point decrease, of the solution, given that we know the Kb and Kf of water. So these are both for water. So we can separate this problem into different steps. It's asking for two different things that have pretty much the same equation. So we can we can solve them both at once. The equation first started with the Van Hoff factor. So the first step is going to be to determine what is our Van Hoff factor. Then another factor that is similar between both the freezing point increase, the boiling point increase and the freezing point decrease, sorry is that they both require molality, so we also have to find that. And finally, because we have the Kb and Kf, we simply have to plug in into the formula. So just find the boiling point increase and the freezing point decrease with all the factors that we had. So let's start with the first step. The first thing we wanted to do is find the Van Hoff factor. And the Van Hoff factor goes back to ionization of reactants into products. So a reactant in this case, our solute, is C6H12O6, which is a molecular compound. So when put into water, it's not going to ionized is going to stay the same it's just going to be aqueous now so this gives us a Van Hoff factor equal to 1 and well given that we can pretty much discard the Van Hoff factor out of our equations because it is not going to influence anything the second step required obtaining the molality of the solution and to obtain that, we know that the formula for molality is the moles of solute over the kilograms of solvent. And going back to our data, we have the kilograms of solvent, which is water, two kilograms, but we don't have the moles of our solute, which is C6H12O6 but we have the mass, so we can find the moles of it using molar mass. We had 500 grams of C6 H12O6, and we multiplied by one mole over the molar mass, which is about 180 grams, we get 2.77 we cancel our units we get moles of solute so then we can plug it into the molality equation so molality is going to be equal to 2.77 moles over 2 kilograms which is one point 38 molal. 
So now we have the Van Hoff factor and the molality, as well as the KB and KF. So all we need to do is plug in into our equations. So the third step would be delta TB for the boiling point increase. We know that this is going to be positive one, that's the Van Hoff factor, times the KB, which is 0 0.5 12 Celsius kilograms or moles times 1.38 molo. Out of this, we can cancel some units. The molar and, and the moles and kilograms will go with the molo, which is just the, the opposite of it. And we'll get degrees Celsius. And it's going to be delta TB is. 0.70 or we could actually round up to 0.71 and that is in degrees Celsius and that is our boiling point increase so you may recall the question was asking what are the new boiling points of the solution the boiling point and the freezing point the boiling point increase is not the new boiling point but it's what you need to add to the solvent to the, to the temperature of the solvent to obtain that that new boiling point of the solution so the boiling point of the solution is going to be the boiling point of the solvent so h2o plus our 0 0.71 degrees celsius so our delta tv and we know that for water it boils at 100 degrees celsius so our final answer is going to be 100.71 degrees Celsius because there was an increase of 0.71 when the solute was added. Now for the freezing point, we need to get delta Tf and then add it again to the freezing point of the solvent. So we know that this is negative I times or Kf times the molality. Following the same procedure, this is going to be negative 1 times the Kf, which is 1.86 degrees Celsius kilograms over moles, times the molality, which is 1.38 molal. Cancel our units again. We're going to get degrees Celsius. And the delta Tf is equal to 2.57 degrees Celsius. Again, that is our decrease. So the temperature of the solvent is going to decrease by that amount. So the new freezing point of the solution, the F of the solution, is going to be equal to the freezing point of the solvent, so water, plus the change, the decrease of, of the freezing point, this is negative, so it's going gonna, it's gonna to subtract, that is, why a de that's, that is why it's called a decrease. We know that water freezes at 0 Celsius, minus 2.57 degrees Celsius, the new freezing point of water is going to be negative 2.57. 0.57 degrees Celsius and that is the new freezing point of the solution. In other in instances you may see this right here as positive doesn't matter as long as you change this in here into a negative because remember the freezing point is going to decrease so you can have it adding up if it's going to be a positive value because that would just make it increase and the same goes for the boiling point increase. So as long as you understand that it that one is going to increase and one is going to decrease, the signs don't really matter. And well, that is the final answer. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked it and found it useful. And if you did, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more videos like this one.